Hey guys, Fox with here. Today I'm gonna give you my best tips and tricks on how to maintain longer score streaks slash gun streaks in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The gameplay in the background will be me playing Gorgon on Uplink. And uh, the first half, I'm not going for nuclear or anything, I'm just camping in the spawn because enemies are pushing the spawns too hard. And then in the end of the round, I realize I have a power car, I have a hater, I'm doing pretty good. And I think maybe I can go for a nuclear. So I take my razor back and I'll end up in a 24 gun streak. And I think this is pretty good. So uh, that's what you're seeing now in the background. So uh, the tips I'm going to give you guys go for both score streaks and gun streaks. So keep that in mind. For the class setup, you want to play with a weapon you are good with. Don't listen to anybody else saying that the CUDA or the VMP or the KN44 are the best weapons to get a damn nuclear with. Because you want to get the nuclear and not the person saying that the M8 is the best gun or something. You want to get the nuclear so you want to play with the gun you are best with. So uh, for the attachments, uh, you need to put in your weapon what your gun like misses. Does it have a slow ADS time? You want quick draw. Does it have a lot of recoil? Grip or the Fax 3 scope, that's a bit overpowered of Fax 3, but uh, does it have a small magazine, extended max or fast max, but also personal preference pr plays a role. If you think you're doing so much better with extended max, why don't you put extended max on it? I mean, you need to get a nuclear or a high score streak, so uh, that's your own choice. And uh, also, if you want to go stealthy, you of course want to use suppressor. Uh, so for me, that's the Razorback with Quick Draw, Rapid Fire, Extender Max and Fast Max. I really like a lot of attachments, so uh, that's why I do a lot of attachments on my gun. Uh, for the perks, uh, I would definitely go for Scavenger if you want to get a high score streak slash gun streak. Because uh, you are going to run out of ammo and you want to be playing with your own weapon, I think, for the entirety of the score streak. So uh, I would go for Scavenger. And uh, then you have to divide the rest of the points, and I would do that to perks, and I really like uh, fast hands, but uh, it has to suit your weapon and your playstyle, so if you like snap aiming, I would go for fast hands, but if you want to go stealthy, I of course would use ghost or blast suppressor, or even both. Uh, so for me, as I already said, that's scavenger and fast hands, uh, because I already have a lot of attachments, I don't have room for many more, so just scavenger and fast hand does the job for me. So uh, for the score streaks, if you want to go for a high score streak, uh, you of course want to pick the target yourself. But if you want to go for high gun streaks, I would use uh, these two combos: UAV counter UAV hater or UAV power core hater. I think the power core is a pretty good score streak because it messes them up pretty good. So uh, that's why I would go with the power core. For the specialist, you of course uh, want to use Savage Combat Focus. This is very handy if you want to go for a high score streak, but also if you want to go for a high gun streak, because you want to get your Hader and your UEV as quick as possible. So uh, the Combat Focus comes in pretty good. So uh, for the game mode, uh, I will try something with an objective and predictable spawns as Domination or Uplink as seen in this gameplay. If you think this is a bit too hectic and uh, you know how to get 30 kills in team that match and you know how to control the spawns in team that match, I would definitely try team that match. So uh, I also have uh, another few tips. Don't take the high traffic routes. Uh, you are gonna get yourself killed in those routes. Uh, you see a lot of YouTubers taking those routes and get an ultra kill and then get a nuclear but this is not gonna work in reality. So I would uh, cover the outsides of the map because you will get yourself killed in the middle of the map. You also have to play how your weapon is meant to be played. If you're playing with shotguns or SMGs, you of course want to get up close, but if you're playing with a sniper rifle or the M87 or some LMGs, I would uh, definitely go for medium to long range. Uh, because your weapon cannot do every everything, you can't rush with a sniper, so uh, play how your weapon is meant to be played. So uh, if you decide to spawn trap, and I think that's a pretty good strategy, uh, be sure to be at the size of the spawn and not in that spawn. You want enemies spawning in front of you and not around you, because that's when you are going to lose control. So uh, stay at the size of that spawn and make sure you enemies spawn in front of you instead of in your back. So these were all my tips on how to get higher score streaks and gun streaks in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The previous video was on the short circuit and the triple threat calling card. And the next video, I don't know what it's going to be about. If you have any tips for me, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. 
If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.